Jewelry is a must know for school. Okay, here's this nerdy kid. Let's call him Bob. He was like the teacher's pet. I remember everybody <laughs> hated him. You know what? I'm gonna use Quizlet. Teacher, he's using Quizlet. Bruh. Nah. Nah, shit. He was like the enemy. I hate Bob. But you know something he won't hate? That's right. My new merch. This merch is filled with fun stuff. And my recent videos. All my social links. It is so cool. These are the only merch I added right now, but there will be more. The site is right here and in the description. This is a big step into my YouTube journey. And I can't thank you all for supporting all my videos. And subscribing, if you did. That's all my time for this advertisement. Now, back to the video. One day, he wore a necklace. A golden one. So he walked to the school bus. was mad dripped out. When he hopped on the school bus, everybody noticed. Five seconds after he got on the school bus, everybody was silent and shocked. So then he arrived at school. My man was dripped in the hallway. Wow. First period and second period, nothing much. Unless him being a nerd. Third period was pee. Ah! Uh -huh. Like the whole class was sweating their asses off. When the gym teacher realized that Bob was wearing a gold necklace, he demanded that it should be taken off at gym. So Bob went to the locker room and put it in his locker. But he thought that his locker was closed and locked. See, a little peek. That meant anybody could steal his necklace. Okay, fast forward 15 minutes later. One kid asked to use the restroom. He needed to go very bad. So he did his business, hopefully, and got out of there. He went into the hallway. Meanwhile, I was still sweating my ass off. The PE teacher was confused where he was, so he just thought he needed to go like really bad and probably has diarrhea. <laughs> he was in the locker room. He was looking for lockers until he found Bob's locker, which had the necklace. Bingo. He snatched it. Then he abandoned PE class for this day. When PE class ended, he came into the locker room and found the necklace wasn't there. See, no drip. Fast forward until school ended. He usually took his mom's car. Then we heard a school speaker. Attention students, someone's necklace has been stolen or lost. Whoever took it, come to my office right now. If you have details, come to my office. Later that day, all the parents got an email. Same story, somebody's necklace got stolen. So son, how was school today? Drip, gone. What? So a month later, everybody just gives up. So I guess it's safe for him to wear it now? Yes. So he arrives at school. Man's all dripped out. Oh, wait, he doesn't know? The school banned necklaces, chains, any jewelry. And if it was seen, go to the principal's office. Alright, let's see this epic fail. At the same time, the school principal was walking around. And he saw him with the chain. And then he took him to the principal's office. We don't know what happened at the principal's office. Probably suspended or something. So I guess he learned his lesson. Well, this video was harsh to make. One day for the editing, and the other day for the vi for the audio. Two days. Two freaking days. Crazy, huh? To create a Pangum video? Well, you better buy the merch, or I'm mad. Just kidding, but check out the merch, though. Alright, bye guys.